Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. We are in Pennsylvania today in Millerstown, Pennsylvania. We are back at a stitch in time. It has been a while since I have been here, so I'm excited to get back inside, see what we can't find. Maybe collecting, no, no, I have to behave for resale. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Little puppy right there. Hello. There is a lovely shot. Now there are two, or pardon me, three floors. Three floors consist of where we're at right now. There is an upstairs. There's also a basement. And don't you worry, we're going to be hitting up all three. Now I will say here on the main level while we're looking in this case, um, there's a lot of more contemporary kind of things and it's totally okay. It is a Stitch in Time antique and gift mall. So we do have a variety of different items. He's interesting. He looks a little contemporary. I kind of, um, I'm relating to this expression right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> Um, what was this seeing? Let's see here. Some old books. It's at 50, so <laughs> do you know? I do see some pastel colored Easter eggs back here. Richard is on the hunt. Let me see if I can't see. So they're $10 an egg. I'm probably going to take a photo and see if he wants any of those. So he's got quite a few right now. But other than that... I do see that art class duck. I like him with that amber in there. Let's peek underneath together, you guys. He's 20. So I'm gonna kind of show you into, we'll take a peek into some of these booths so you can kind of get a better idea of the actual gift mall. Um, so again, if you just love decorating and you don't mind those contemporary things, then I would definitely recommend uh, hitting up in here because there's a good variety. Um, as you can see, everybody's got everything displayed beautifully. Great ambiance, super friendly staff, so don't miss out on it. But we're going to go ahead and try to find those vintage and antique items, so here we go. Of course, I did spot the deer, oh, Papa Deer back here. Look at this little sassy. He's $3. He's angry, Bambi. He's angry. He's ready to charge. It's $3. Of course, I'm going to get the tiny little bone china. Um, dear, oh, he looks sweet on this side, but angry on this side. So you can kind of rotate him depending on your personal mood. Um, let's head over here and see what we've got. Did I lose the tag? Okay, no. Um, some ball jars there with lights tucked in there. Um, some little knickknacks. Do we have any tiny treasures? Um, some little junk jars. They're plastic eggs, but we don't want the plastic eggs. Okay, we'll move on to the next booth here, guys. All right, here we have some vintage items. Don't know, a little round of butter. Um... I like this pink depression. This has been here for a while, but it's at $49.99, so just not where I need it to be. Um, I don't spot... Oh, there's baskets hanging from the ceiling. Don't you love the sound of that? Is this the plastic? No, that is the glass. Is it the leak one? That would be a no. So the French... Le leak glass. Ooh, look at this crackle glass. I like that. That's fun. No. Okay, we'll see about over here, maybe. I don't spot anything. Oh, there's a little Francona down there. Interesting little compote. In the prairie green glaze. That one's 16. These are really easy to look up, too, because all you have to do is type in Francona and the molds are right underneath. But I'm not really... It's just kind of okay. I do spot something down here. Let me put a little deer. No, I'm going to hold on to him because I have a tendency of forgetting stuff. So we've got a little artisan pottery here with a flower frog. Now, you can tell by how shiny that metal is. It is obviously more of a contemporary piece. We're signed and I'm assuming dated 2021. What is that? Sonus Point, New York. 
fancy signature there. My goodness, how much is that? Nineteen ninety-nine. Not hateful. Oh, this is pretty over here. Now it seems like it's again more of a contemporary piece of glass, but I really love the color treatment in that one. So we're hand blown. Nineteen ninety-nine. That's pretty. Again, just a huge fan of the earth tones. Nice and glossy glass there. Very pretty. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that one though. It's just, while I like it, it's not wowing me. Now that lamp is wowing me. Look at that stand on that one with the lion heads. So it's at 325, uh, old kerosene lamp here. I don't have a patent on it. Um, I love the stand on that one. It's pretty cool. Right next door here, we've got a little antique lithograph. Uh, pencil case, that one's cute, it's darling. $12 for that, probably 1800s. Oh, it looks like it has a little lock. Let's see if it works. Oh, we're gonna creep down. Um, Not so much. So, woo woo. Now up here, look at that compo, ooh. That's a statement piece right there, and I love this color, similar to the Fenton Colonial Blue. It is, in fact, it seems like it's a Westmoreland. Am I seeing things? Let me check a little closer here. It's a little muddled. I don't know if it's reading. Let me look here on the screen. Kind of, sort of, you can almost make out that W in the keystone. So it is a Westmoreland. Beautiful blue. Look at the size on that piece that's a statement um at 25 hmm i think i'm gonna get it you guys that kind of sums it up so far as like our vintage and antiques here on the first floor so what we're gonna go ahead and do is go down to the second floor down the stairs here at the end and we'll see what else we can find guys here we go Ooh, i'll tell you what you can really feel the temperature difference oh those speakers are they're bumping down here. It's the echo in the uh, basement. So we'll see what we can find, guys. Checking it out here. A little quick panorama for you. We're going to dive into it, hopefully. <laughs> First, there are some baskets. So we needed to pick that one up quick. A lot of treasures in here. Now, I have picked up several things. There's Creepy Clown, raw. Don't worry, he's not gonna get you through the screen, I promise, but any old how. I have found quite a few things in this vendor's booth in the past. Um, we're gonna see if we can find something else. We got a little Hadley here. That's cute, the little drink canister with the horse on it. Um, that one's at 85. We've got little sugar and creamers here. Uh, looks to be like a pineapple. I'm not in love, um, to be honest with you, with the pineapple design. It's a little too specific. Is that a pear? Bit suggestive. Um, some chintz down here in the red. Really have to take our time. There's definitely a lot to take in, so I don't want to miss anything. Hmm. Not spotting anything there. Little Lucite napkin holder here. 14 on that one. Again, it's just they're so specific that I'm I don't fall in love. Uh it's gotta be something really unique for that utilitarian stuff. We've got some old lead animals down here, 24 for the little farm set there. Some geisha or geisha wear, depending, of course. On enunciation, Lord knows I'm not one to judge that. <laughs> All right, tiny treasures. Not so tiny, but they're little bitties. They're bitty treasures, not tiny treasures. Let's see if we spot anything over here. I'm not in love. What do we have back here? Some bisque babies and animal. Oh, that cat's got a fish. <gasps> Ah, what do we got in chill? A bisque. We've got three, four, 
three smaller ones. They all look Japan made though. 24 for the five piece. It's not that really that bad. It's a little less than five dollars each. So oh look at this guy. Sir, he's in his best. He's celebrating the New Year's. A little Austrian matchstick holder. Toothpick holder they have them labeled as probably. Crazy Victorians had something for everything. What are you two doing, my lord? Hmm. All right, guys. Well, I will see if we can find anything else. Oh, intelligent here. The Hugging Dutch. 18, not too bad. A little too common for me to want to warrant getting those at 18. But yeah, I will see if we can find anything else. Otherwise, we will go ahead and move on. Alrighty guys, talking about tiny treasures. We do have some doll furniture and accessories over here, but oh my gosh, look at how microscopic these are. It looks like it might be missing a little something. That is talking about itty bitty. Holy smokes. Look at that. It's adorable. Anybody out there for some super tiny doll for look at how those are micros. Talk about furnishing a tiny space. Ooh, what's this? We've got a solid metal mini bed plus doll. Oh my gosh. It's like a dollhouse doll of $5. I'm going to get it cookbooks this looks more kind of like barbie-ish over here Ooh, that doesn't spin all that well oh this is metal oh it's missing a number of its shades that's a shame because that would have most definitely have been a good get oh uh looks oh here's the run wall lady oh, look at the little are these plastic? Oh. Um, Dillibar. <laughs> okay. Telling you, if you guys like doll stuff, miniature stuff, you just wait and see what's in store for you guys. Um, don't know. I'm not really spotting. Some toys. There's a little glow worm. Glow worm. In really good condition. Anything else in here? Some earrings pierced. No. Uh, no. Strawberry shortcake knockoff. Brazil, I believe. What do we got down here? Little carnival prize bear. Um, don't know. Oh, let's see over here. So now we can pop this one open to get it closer. Whoa, not too far, Michael. Not too far. Who are you hiding back here? A little celluloid babies back there. Little bis babies. Um. Ooh, we got some good creepers. Let me see. Open mouth, early disc, Marcel. She is giving me a little bit more personality. Uh, it's all about the sculpt. This is really what I'm on the hunt for. She also looks German, though. Antique bisque and wood. Hmm. Excuse me, everybody. Excuse me. We want to check out your friend here. I like the pinched uh, face on her. She's fun. I love the wood body. Let me flip her around here. Okay, I'm going to think about her for a little bit. I really do like her, but I do have a few baby dolls. Oh my word, Tamifay girl. She came back as a doll. 
She's 28. Hmm. I'm going to think about her. I'm going to think about her. We're going to think about it. Here we have some toys, and we've actually got the Whitman. These are Flatsy dolls. So it's got its original box here, and if we pop it open, we do have one, two, three. Ooh, hold on now. Three. So we have three dolls. Here's their little stands. Oh, it looks like there's three stands. Lots of clothes. Did I drop something? No, I don't think I did. Three dolls, three stands, lots of clothes, original box, 70 piece. I don't know, $5? I think I'll go ahead and get that one. I've enjoyed doing the paper dolls. That one's a little unusual. Here we've got Vicky. Her clothes stay on like magic. It's all a lie. They never stay on like magic in my experience. Or maybe they've just... The magic's worn off. They've gotten jaded, these dolls. Vicky girl, do you... St Let's see. Mm, I don't think that they are, girl. Build up a little friction here. That static electricity. Let's see. Oh, well, yeah, it does, actually. It is sticking on there. Mm, I don't know. Vicky's only $5. She has her stand. Should we get Vicky also? We don't want to leave her abandoned behind, do we? We'll go ahead and get Vicky, too. Okay, here we have Sun Bathing Santa. He is a fan of natural and, apparently... The tanning beds. He's thirty dollars. He's that hard acrylic plastic little wall hanging light there. Not bad here. We've got a little telefloral vase. Yes, it is. In fact, telefloral. It's ten dollars. I still love these. I think the color combination. They're bright and springy and fun. Then we also have some more glass. Uh, let's see. Do we have any fun animals? Some Fenton bears. Well, these two. In particular, how much? Twelve dollars. A little emerald Benton Bear. My goodness, I'm hiccuping. Sorry guys, twelve dollars. Uh, not in love. I'm I'm not in love. I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's see here. Boyd's glass some okay glass. I'm not blown away I'm not blown away little flats of Christmas ornaments so you can get this one here for 25 hmm. carnival great pattern Avon some cobalt greens pinks oh, yeah not in love. What do you... Don't give up on the milk glass, folks. Don't give up on it. Um, and Sasquatch. Hmm. Let's go over here. I think you have like a lot of toys in this booth here. Including cone heads. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Um, don't know, psycho robot there. A lot of Happy Meal toys, a little more contemporary esque. Um, I want those 80s toys, you know, or 70s and 60s. That's where, oh, look at this. These look vintage-y. Ooh, they're 25, though. Party decorations. Those are cute. How many did you get? Three prints. So Mickey, Pluto, and Goofy. Donald's over there. That's a little more than what I want to spend, but I would say for a Disney collector or fan, it doesn't seem like it would be that bad. If I can get it back on the hook. There we go. <clears throat> 
Okay, we'll move on. A couple of things caught my attention on this shelf, but more in particular when I look down, there is this brass or brass-esque stand here. This is, I just got this brass stand, sands the, now mine's a little bit different. I'm not in love with that one actually. Not, not my favorite on that. <laughs> So what else did I see? Okay, let's look at, oh, we've got some scotch tape tins here. Yeah. Oh, there's a basket right on top of my head. All right, so we do have some Roseville here. 56, oh, this one's pretty, look at that color on that. I like that. That's an unusual colorway. Don't, oh, that's not a basket. That's a heater that I was hitting my head on right there. Some paper pulp bunnies. I respect the fact that you did not stick that on the bunny. This is really good condition. This one's a nice one because you wouldn't have to leave it out just for Easter. I'm really digging. That one's got some great colors on it. Little beaded purse here. 32. That's really not that bad. Ooh, look at that with that loose light on it. What do you... Ooh. Oh, it's missing some fringe down there, but I think that could be forgiven, right? Little Majolica here with our she-weed. Those were some fun things to see. They're just not priced where I would necessarily want them, though I am kind of tempted by one of those paper pulp bunnies. Look at these little weirdos. Animated sleepy doll. Oh, 48. I was like, where's the price? <laughs> His friend here. Okay. Missing a wick. They're at 30. Oh, fine. Ugh. I don't think the wick missing is make or break on these. I don't really relish spending $30 on them, but I will get them. We're going to rescue them. See if anybody is down for it. Hmm. Scrap fabric. Don't see much of anything else for us. Make sure I don't miss anything. Well, let's see what's in this case here. Oh, that one's pretty. How much is it? Seven dollars? That's a contemporary reproduction. All right, we'll move along, guys. Don't worry, I still have the candles. We're gonna get them. Yes, we are. Oh, look at that giant poodle. Do you see that giant poodle? I see it too. Okay, what do we have over here? I don't know. Let's look at this side. As we enter in here, are you spotting anything? Are you seeing anything? Mm. Nothing that's really blowing me away. I do see the pipe. Oh my gosh. Are you... 45 for all three? I love these patterns. These mixing bowls. They're so great. Hmm. And flowers, flowers. A little bit of the old glass bake. This one here, Carnival Prize. Oh my gosh, that's only $20. That's in really good condition. That's a big one. I just, my problem with it is, is that I would get it. And I think that is a fantastic price, especially for um the height of it but it it you know shipping is something that i've taken into consideration and even though it's lightweight that's going to be a big old box a big old box i tell you um that's sad it's making me sad to leave that one behind 75 not bad 75 on that set though too prices are very fair in here what do we got on this one by itself, we're at 99. 
What is that? Czech Republic. Pretty. Typically, it comes in a set of three. Hmm. Ooh, look at that big old Christmas tree. How much are you? One fifty. That's good. Some fun stuff, but it's just. Uh, what is this? Blue jadeite? Delphite. Ooh, it is from Fire King, isn't it? $20 for a mug. I don't know my stuff like that. Like this jadeite Fire King stuff. That probably might be a good deal. Truthfully, don't, don't really know. You'll have to let me know in the comments. Look at this little angel. Grumpy man. He doesn't look too grumpy. Uh, some close calls on that one, guys, but we're going to move on. Drats. Over here. No. No, 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 no. Ooh, we got over here. Some little nativity stuff. Some actual candles. And... Don't spot anything there. It does look quite festive on the inside. So it is festive in here, but it's like um, contemporary. Not seeing, oh, what's this? Metal wind chime with the Santa holder. That's cute. Um, but I'm not seeing the real deal. Let me not lose this price tag. Hold on. I do see this bunny with egg. Get these under my arm here. He's so cute. <gasps> Ooh. 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 I'm freaked out. Okay, hold on. Apparently he's in Norcrest. He's 14. That's kind of pushing it so far as where I would want it to be for resale. And my next sale isn't going to be till after Easter. Now Christmas and Halloween, I will mess with that year round. Uh, but like Easter, um, Valentine's Day, that kind of stuff I don't really do throughout the year. Um, it, it's just not as popular. It's not as popular, darn it. So, all right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for the basement. So we're going to wrap it up and then we'll go upstairs here. Okay. As promised, we're going up the stairs. I'm getting my exercise in today, you guys. Lord. All right. Uh, look at that pretty heart. With our Blue Conte 24 pretty. Bubbles look. Well, bubbles are a little ununiform, so we'll leave that one behind. Quick shot of what we're kind of working with here. Oh my lord, I'm out of breath. All right, let me catch my breath and we'll be back. Whoa, look at giant plush Santa lurking over here. He's a big guy, holy mo- What? $80? That's insane. I don't even know. That's insane. I kind of want to get them just for the insanity of it all. But again, it's like one of those shipping things. He's huge. $80. But oh my lord. Talk about one heck of a good get. Whew. I don't know where. I don't know, y'all. It would just, I would probably go UPS. I've certainly never sold anything that big, that's for sure. Ooh, he's weighing on my mind, gosh darn it. He's weighing on my mind. Hmm. Over here, um, uh, 
E. Uh, Alright, we'll see what else we can find. Hmm. 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 Should we just... Let's start here. And we'll see how the prices are. Because I don't want to get too excited. Though I am kind of excited right now, you guys. I'm not seeing anything over here that's really wowing me. But I'm a little spooked, a little shook. Didn't expect to find it. And here, we're going to behave. Ooh. Hey, little single horn. What? Oh, look at that Fenton single horn. It's a clear e -burn. Oh, goodness. It's $70. $70. Can you hear me? I'm a little freaked out right now because that's a beautiful piece. That's, that looks like some old Fenton, too. The reason we say it's old Fenton is because there's a little bit of a yellow hue to it. Okay. 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 Okay, vendor. Be my friend, vendor. Be my friend. I really want you to be my friend. Duncan Miller, opalescent down there. Highly underrated. Highly underrated. If you love some good opalescent glass, do yourself a favor. Go onto the Ebays. Type in Duncan Miller. Oh, look at the old oh, Sears. I'm holding Fenton. That's why I said old Fenton. Whoa. Okay. What year is that? 70s? 15, 1959. I'm going to get this Sears catalog too. <gasps> glorious. Glorious. Beautiful. And it's only $15. Let's buy this because I'm very happy to. Okay. This is a blown mold bunny. Oh, you're a little... Spider web freaking me out up there. Don't appreciate you. New friend. New friend. Mm, I like it, but. Fifteen. Okay. Hi, friend. <laughs> This is uh, clear, opalescent, imperial. I can see the IG right there. That beautiful blue dominion. Oh, how I love beautiful blue glass. Ah, you tricked me. We were almost complete and utter best friends. No, I'm not mad at you. So we've got the Ellie Smith floor vase. This one's at 190. Uh, it is Ellie Smith. You have your question mark. You are correct. This one and is it a lot of bubbles on that one? Golly, gosh darn. 160. I'm still not mad at you. I think that, you know, in today's market, it's, it's very fair. I'm not going to be able to go at 160 on it, but that's still fun. Oh my gosh, there's anthropomorphic strawberry shakers. Ooh, they're kind of mildly disturbing too. Ooh. Okay. We can be friends again. Can we be friends again? Oh. This one doesn't have a... Oh, 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 oh. We're friends again. Don't worry, Vendor. We're back to being friends. We are back to being friends. Don't worry. Look at this little matte glaze mushies. Oh, they're sweet. Ten. Oh. Uh. Well, I'm not going to be mad at you. We're getting the salt and pepper shakers. We're getting the e-pern. We're getting the vase, the catalog. I'm definitely happy with it. I just went to gather up my stuff. Oh. 
He's 18. Oh, is it Tilso? Can't really. A quality? It's a little stitched up bear, a little rag. Not bear, Michael. Bull. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to gather everything up. This is just evidence that I was, in fact, gathering things up. And then over here, I spotted a little pink luster. This apparently is by Ellie Smith. Kind of surprised me. Uh, it's called the Pink Luster Wood Rose. Um, it's this gorgeous. I love that pebble glass effect to it, looking like a flower. That one's 18. I don't know. I just think the color is beautiful on it. So I'm going to pick this one. Okay, so I went back for another basket, right? I put the salt and pepper shakers in our other basket. And I'm just, you know, doing my thing. Golly. Just minding my business. Really, truly, really, truly just trying to, like, mind my thing. And I saw these reference books over here. And in particular, there were three that popped out to me. Here we go. So we've got... Three different Fenton reference guides. The interesting thing is that this one is 1939 to 1980. This one is 1940 to 1970. And here we have 1907 to 1939. These are great so that we can kind of get our different colors and patterns. I buy a lot of Fenton glass for you guys. So I don't know. And maybe I might want to get these um, for resale. I'm going to scan some barcodes here on the back. And we'll see what we can't find out about these. Here's what I found. The $6.99 book is like an $80 to $100 book. So in our basket. This one, um, which is cool because, well, this is 1907. But this has like the antique patterns, which is, this one is the least valuable for whatever reason. Hmm. Not overly in love. But still, this one's got some good value on it too. It's about a $30 book. You know what? Let's just get them all. Go ahead, stitching time. This is how it's going right now, and I'm excited. I'm loving it. I'm living for it. Two baskets, and this is a little overflow here, so we're going to keep on going, guys. Here we go. Now, this booth looks like it has some fun little boids. I have to say, I've done well with the boids and the poets in here. Um, various animals. We've got some ephemera over here. Looks like some cloth patches. Uh, reproduction. And what's that? Wait. Hold on a second. Reproduction. Darn it. Any old how trickster. This is interesting. Solve sculpture animal quick. Make it quick. Two to four hours, one afternoon. It's freakish. Nine ninety nine. What is it called? Zoogle baby puppy cat. Raw. What else do we got? Hardly dude. Um, not so much. <sighs> Oh, there's a single candle. I can't. It's $10. Let me in. <laughs> uh, what is that? You see that? Let's be careful. Oh, it's a lettuce lady. No, it's a cabbage lady. Oh, it's a man. What is this? They're salt and pepper shakers. Be affordable. Be affordable. Oh, they're... Oh... Oh, what is she doing? Oh my gosh. Lady. What is she doing? I don't... 15... 15? What does that say? <laughs> DP Indiana Tournament 1958 That's some old... Oh my god. Hey. Whoa. 
done. Well, guys, with the addition of our questionable anthropomorphic shakers here, I think that's going to sum it up for today's video. So we'll wrap it up outside. Psych! We're going to get her. I can't. I love the unusual face sculpt to her. So, and I like the wood body with the condition issues. So, little girl, you're being saved. Well, guys, there you have today's Shop With Me video here at A Stitch in Time. It was great. I think we found some good stuff, some unusual stuff, some suggestive stuff. A little bit on the creepy, but not too much. And we found some beautiful glass. As always, guys, down in the comments below, let me know what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. Either works. And you know I'd appreciate it. And until next time, guys, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. And yes, I see that creepy tunnel behind me. There ain't no way I'm going down on it. Bye, guys.